Hi everyone, welcome back to the Luxury Live Show. With me here are two of my awesome, gorgeous friends, Fashionably Amy, my co-host, and we've got Clara Zila here today as well because she is still in quarantine. What day is it? Day 14? It is day 14. Can you see? Um, I can't. Right there. I saw it on your, on your stories earlier. I was like, yeah, 14. Two thirds so, gone. <laughs> Another Almost seven days to go. Woo! Almost there. Awesome. I bet Can't it flew by. <laughs> uh, I, feel like, I feel like an animal in a cage. Anyways. <laughs> okay, it's good to see everyone. Let's just leave us a comment. We see everyone coming in. Erica, Eileen. There is also um, Chris, Luan, um, Rebecca. It's good to see everybody. So today we have a topic. So we're going to talk about our best and worst purchases of 2021. So each of us, we're going to share three items from each category. And yeah, we'll talk through all of them, right? We'll just talk through them, why we think they're the best. And then of course, why do we think they're the worst and you know, worst in our definitions, right? So if you are new to this luxury live show, you're seeing this for the first time, um, myself and Amy, we host it alternatively on our channel. So this week's on mine. Oh, wait, actually, you know what? Actually, this week's on mine. And then we're taking a break. We're taking a couple yeah. weeks off. Tomorrow, there is a uh, members live where we're going to have and share some Hermes and Chanel secrets. That's going to be super exciting. So um, that's coming up on Amy's channel tomorrow. And then we're just taking a couple of weeks off because we have been doing this live nonstop, actually, this whole year. So no breaks. It's like our annual holiday. <laughs> yeah, no, no breaks. Annual holiday plus more, right? So uh, we'll be back in January. The calendar is already up on our channel. So on community posts, so you can check that out. We'll start off. I think the first one is on the 8th. Yes. And I will post be... it actually after this live. I haven't posted uh, on my side yet, but I will post it so you guys can see it fresh yeah. right after this live. Awesome, awesome. And then we also have like some guests coming up next year. So yeah. look out for that. All right, so without further ado, let's get started. We're going to start with the best of 2020 purchases. I'm going to let Clara go first. And Clara, thank you for preparing some slides. Let me just open it. Always so professional, Clara. I know. They're like, oh, <laughs> Ashley, you know, I'm in quarantine for 21 days. So I only can bring so much with me to a hotel for 21 days. Yes. But uh, yeah, thank you for inviting me to the show. Happy to share my best purchase of 2021. So I have two of the items here shown. And my favorite item this year has got to be my mini Lindy which is shown on the photo there. And you could see I've already folded it up so I can actually use this as a hand carry. There's a video coming out for that. So if you're interested to know how I use this as a hand carry and how to use it totally, I'll show that. So definitely my favorite purchase. I know the Kelly was fantastic, but in terms of cost per wear, this does take it home. So this is my favorite pur purchase. So the second item I consider my best purchase of 2021 is uh, a Chanel waffle jacket that I picked up uh, at the beginning of the year. Mm -hmm. So I actually have it here with me. And if some of you watch the shopping vlog that I did with Amy, I actually also lent it to her so she could see what it looks like. But this is definitely in terms of cost per wear and um one of my favorite, favorite Chanel jackets. So, I mean, it's it's not the most iconic. It doesn't have like stunning materials or buttons, but because of the weather in Hong Kong, it's like so humid and hot all the time. I just love wearing it. It's just comfortable. So sometimes you just gravitate towards what you think is comfortable. Um, and yeah, so for me, this was definitely a highlight of the year. So my third item, which I know Kat also owns, is that beautiful Prada glitter bag. It's the Prada re-edition. <sighs> and totally, the pictures do not do it any justice. You have to go and see the bag in person. It is so sparkly. And actually, I almost brought it with me to Canada because I love this bag so much. And Believe it or not, I've been in 21 days quarantine and I actually miss this bag, okay? I don't miss any of my other bags because I'm not even using bags, right? But I'm just 
you know, wanting to look at the bag because I'm like in a room 20 day, one days is kind of boring. And the bag is just so beautiful and mesmerizing. I just thought to myself, it would have been so nice for me just to even like put it on a table next to the bed, you know, just to give myself happy vibes because that bag just makes me so happy to even look at it. And I've gotten a lot of cost per wear for, out of it. It's really easy to use, fits everything, and I've used it a lot. So definitely, it was really hard to pick three because obviously there are so many items I love this year. But if I had to pick three that I just really totally love and actually really miss it's definitely these three sorry about the doorbell my my uh <laughs> food is here so <laughs> <laughs> oh, they always give me too much food but anyways that was for the quarantine food but yes so those are my top three picks for 2021 wow really thank you that's so wow. awesome I'm, I'm just looking at that Lindy bag, it probably needs to get into my wish list. It's you need it's it. We all need it. We all need it. You all Thank need you. it. Like I just yeah. love this bag so much. I just and I really so like the way you've done it. Like to put it like this. To, and I I don't know. I have a thing about shoulder bags right now. I love my crossbody bags, but I don't know something about just wearing it on the shoulder. It's so feminine. And so much easier access, even though I know you still got to manage it with one hand, but I just love the look of and the feel of a shoulder bag. Yeah, so you can actually convert this to a shoulder bag. And there are many ways to do this with a twilly. So you can wear it as a shoulder bag without the twilly. It's a little bit longer. I don't find it too long. We're about the same height, 5'4". Mm -hmm. So I don't think you'd have an issue with it. I know Amy also tried it on and... I don't know. Did you find it too long for you? No, not at all. I feel like we are at a height where we are actually a bit like, taller than the most petite petite girls. So we actually have enough height to pull it off. It just mm. hits, you know, just maybe just below the hip bone, but it's it, it's still a large enough bag that it actually hits the right place. And I feel like in the winter, especially when you're wearing your larger coat, your larger jacket, it actually hits the perfect spot. Mm. it's so good <laughs> yeah there are ways to shorten the bag which i will be uploading tomorrow so okay i'm looking forward to seeing that though i sh maybe i shouldn't because then i'll just have to add another thing on too <laughs> i need to buy this <laughs> you need this it's it's so fantastic i love this it's gonna be definitely one of the best cost per wear bags i think for me what i like about it the most is um is the construction i i feel like with a lot of the Hermes bags, they just either look boring style-wise or they just have a more simple construction. In my eyes, when, like I mentioned, I think in, I can't remember which which one was it? Maybe it was a member's live where I was talking about how certain bags have too much exposed glazing. Uh, so to me, that just is not as polished in terms of construction. So I like it when bags have all hidden um hidden edges they're all tucked mm -hmm. inside and everything just looks seamless and this bag is an iconic bag right from the brand it's so the fact that it's in a mini size and it's so oh my gosh not only so darn cute but so um roomy for what it is uh, i just yeah i just love it yeah yes okay so i'm gonna hand over to amy uh okay. for your best three purchases of this 2021 and while we share ours we would love to hear everyone's best purchase if you don't have three that's fine or maybe you have five let us know what are your best purchases comment and then uh yeah let's go amy okay awesome uh so we're gonna remove okay yeah perfect so um i wonder if any of you can guess i will also film a follow-up video of all my best purchases so the top three I have to say uh, one of the, this is probably the, the the top, top one, the best purchase, which is the love bracelet. This is the thin love bracelet in rose gold. And I got this in April. And um, honestly, after maybe a few weeks of getting used to it and having removed it a bit more often for the first few weeks, after that, I just didn't care anymore. I just 
you know, I've got my first big scratch. Then I just started wearing it 24 seven. I don't think I've removed it since May. Um, oh. I'm pretty sure I haven't removed it since May. So it's pretty much the best purchase ever because cost per wear. And also I've always had bare arms before. Like I didn't even have a watch before. So I feel like this year has been a huge year in terms of adding fine jewelry and just the the actually ultimate piece for me on uh, on my yeah, right arm, which is interesting because I always thought I would wear it on my left arm, which is my non-dominant arm, but it feels very, very comfortable on my dominant arm and I don't feel like it's getting in the way of anything. Uh, yeah, you have to get used to maybe not, uh, like I, I'm so careful, right? So I, when I type, when I'm at a keyboard, it's, you know, it sits a bit lower on my wrist. So I kind of avoid the table or the keyboard that way. Um, it's just a natural thing that I do. I think just the nature of me being careful as a person, or if I have a long sleeve, then it's fine. So yeah, mm -hmm. number one is my love bracelet. Highly, highly recommend it. I think it's very good value for what you get to for the, for the thin one. And also like the fact that this one is much more easy to take on and off compared to the, um, classic one where you have to screw on both sides. So that's my, my number one purchase. And I, wonder if any of you will guess my second uh well it's maybe not exactly the second second best purchase but one of the bags that i feel like is one of the best purchase this year is and it is so the, oh my gosh, I, even on webcam it looks so good mm. and we all know webcam is, doesn't have the best quality picture but just look at how Again, Gorgeous. very simple construction, but handles. so well made, like all finished um, <sighs> except the raw edge on top and just a little bit of glazing on the top handle. But again, like the croc handle just makes the bag too. And it also makes the bag, uh, gives it structure because it just sits upright. It doesn't mm. fold in any weird way. Um, so honestly, in terms of storage with the croc version, with the touch version, all you need is an organizer and you're good to go. Like this bag is going to stay like this forever. It's going to be nice. in such good condition for many, many years to come. It has feet. I, I got all the stickers out. I always like to remove all the stickers um, right away. It just is much more shiny and I... Love, 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 love this bag. Just like how Clara loves her Lindy. I feel like that's how I how much I love this. I feel like I was so excited when I got this bag. I was just literally love at first sight the moment I saw it. I mean, I knew what I was getting into because my essay had to tell me uh, that it was not what I uh, what, what I asked for, not a color and combination that I asked for. But he's like, would you be interested in that? I'm like, oh, I'll take a look. And the moment I he took it off, I'm like, oh, okay, yeah, that's it. <laughs> I'm gonna get home. I love and how last it's like but not least different. for today's mm. live stream. Um, yeah, this this is probably a love and hate for a lot of people, but for me, it's definitely love. It is Yay! the Asian Pro Micro bag. Yeah. We all have it, actually, the three of us, which is so funny. Um, yeah, I, I feel like this bag is love or hate for us. Well, for me, it's love because I actually end up using it a lot. Um, you all know that I went a little bit crazy buying so many micro bags in a row this year, but this one is my favorite because I use, I pretty much use this not only the most, but almost like ever since I had it, I would use it every day. Like I probably skipped skipped a few days here and there just because I had to bring more but otherwise I just love being so free and so light and uh, thanks to being able to wear thicker bigger jackets for the winter I was also able to just put my phone in my pocket so I didn't have an issue going out with just this and I just feel so good about it uh, and in the summer when you do have to carry actually carry your phone or maybe bring another bag recyclable bag or um if you have a case with the cord um it's sort of like an, an accessory like a flex but it also can protect your most valuable you know your cards your money oh this is so good i i honestly feel like it is the trend now it is mm. totally 
uh, useless in a way, like they even call it useless bag in Chinese, but <laughs> <laughs> well, well, what again? even in 10, 5, 20 years, whatever, when the trend is gone, actually it'll be back by then, uh, we'll have these. And I feel like, yeah. Oh, best decision ever. I, I love this this version because of the top handle. Top handle. Oh, what was the word in Cantonese again? Something fire. Siu fai bao. Siu fai bao. Mini, <laughs> mini useless bag. <laughs> yeah. Well, you know what? I, I really liked, so when I saw Amy, she was like wearing it inside her jacket and it was yeah. well protected. And I really loved how she could keep her... Um, most important items close to her body even if she put down her bag and other, like other stuff on the day that we went out so and it's just great for security um you know and you never know you know as we go out now like you know if you're going someplace where you're not sure if you're worried it's really mm. great to have that on the inside so yeah it's influenced whole, by amy you're right uh clara and the and whole Kat. premise of <laughs> originally when we realized through one of the members telling us oh that's her intention on how she would like to use it it's really as a travel sort of like a travel bag in a way but with just your most important id and money credit cards that type of thing uh, unfortunately we i mean you can travel if you really have to but you know it's not wise to travel it's actually uh uh, you know the the recommendation right now is to not travel unless it's essential so uh, who knows when we can actually travel way more and freely. So as of right mm -hmm. now, I'm just using it as much as I can. And I just feel like it's just, um, it's just nice. Like I said, it's just nice to be able to not weigh your shoulders down. I just like that feeling a lot. Yeah, also, I, I'm going to ask my essay to let me see the pic picotan in with touch. Mm. I mean, I... I think it's very, very rare as well. So um, to see it in real life would definitely give me a bit more perspective because I'm looking at it like the handles are up. I'm so... They are. They're, yeah, they're that's the best thing they, about they, they, it. They I think unless don't you just really like, like abuse your bag and you like literally force it in a certain way, it will actually stay like this forever that's, so that's so it becomes like a handle. top handle instead of kind of sinking into the bag yeah. which i really kind of like so it's yeah quite nice and it's easier to just grab and whereas the other one you might have to like grab it from both sides and then and it's funny because you say uh you said that it's where i maybe it's more rare but i uh was doing some research once i found out that i had a chance to buy this i was doing some research on purse forum they say that it's actually um, is it easier to get as long as they have stock? Because not everyone oh. wants to buy the touch. Mm, um, yeah, it's, it's definitely more expensive. Like maybe, yeah, it's due to the cost. But honestly, the cost outweighs, um, I mean, the, the, the benefit of the this crock handle uh, or the more rigid handle, because you can have touch in other leathers as well, other exotic really outweighs the benefit, uh, outweighs mm. the cost um, uh, factor. It's just, it's a one-time cost, I guess. Like how many picotin are you going to really buy, right? Yeah. Unless you're really into it, you're going to buy several of them. Yeah. Has awesome. the crock softened up a bit or is it still no, quite stiff? I wouldn't say so. And because I had my organizer from day one in the inside, I feel like not only is this part also staying upright, this part just stays upright by, on its own. So the whole thing is staying upright now because wow. I had this organizer since day one. So nice. I feel like if anything, these parts will get sagging more faster, mm -hmm. like these parts right here. But like I said, I do have my organizer since day one. So it's already helping, I'm sure. Yeah, because you can. Mm, can I show? Yeah, you can see the dip, but it's not. It's it's really minor. Uh, yeah, it's so minor, right? It's just like a little bit of, like very very little. It's so hard to even see if you can see it on my face. It's yeah, like a little bit bended, but it's normal because of how this whole part is the base and it's very mm. rigid. And then from this point on, the the leather is soft, right? Yeah, yeah. But I think that's the beauty of the picotan because if it's too stiff, it doesn't look like it. It doesn't have that softness. 
So yeah, thank you. All right, so it's my turn. Three, uh, three hours. You know what's the funny thing is, all of our bags are almost black. <laughs> <laughs> True. So I'm gonna share my, and I think a lot of people will know this is definitely my best purchase this year. Oh yes! Yay! Yay. Yay. Of course, my Birkin Twenty Five Togo Black is uh. Yeah, it's a dream purchase. It's my best purchase 2021. And I feel like it's even like it's like my ultimate best purchase ever in my entire luxury collection to date. So um, what more can I say? I've been ooing and eyeing over this bag <laughs> for so long. So I, I mean, and I've, I've used it uh, many, many times. Uh, well, hmm, is that the right word to say? As many as I could in a year of lockdown. And every time I can get a chance to take it out, I have been taking it out. I actually really like just holding it. Um, I think the concern was, you know, I couldn't put it, you know, all the way in my arm. But I could sort of, you know, if I really needed both of my hands, I could still squeeze it in. It's not something that I do all the time. But I find that because I know I'm using this bag when I go out, I just mentally prepare myself that I'm always holding it. And it doesn't tie up my shoulder because it's a small bag. It's such a, like you said, right, Amy? It's such a flex. <laughs> it's like, look at me with my little baby Birkin. <laughs> and I don't know. I just really, really enjoy carrying it, holding it. And it's so cute. Uh, it's a good size, uh, even though even though it doesn't fit as much as it looks because it is still quite big-ish, right? You know, it's a it's compared to our micro bags, this is like gigantic. But for this size, um, if it's just enough for, you know, a, a couple of hours out, a few hours out, um, walking, shopping, window shopping, and it it just yeah, one of my best purchases this year, ultimate. Okay, my second one also from Hermes is my watch. My Apple Watch, and all three of us have it. So <laughs> yeah, you know, we both got yeah. our Apple Watch. Yeah, I changed my strap just earlier. Mm. Oh, both of us this is our first, right? Yeah, and, yeah. Series seven. Both of us got Series seven, and Clara, you got yours as Series four. Uh, my first one was a Series four. This is the Series seven. So this is the okay. Hermes one. Did you upgrade from four to five to six? No, did you upgrade every year? No, I went from four or five straight to seven because nice. you know the updates are really just so minor you yeah. know like it's like do i need to measure my blood oxygen no so <laughs> yeah i just went straight to the seven yeah so that's the, the thinking that i had like that. with this when i said okay let's go with seven and do hermes you know i don't we don't really need the additional watch faces honestly and I honestly have been just using the sports band because I just go to the gym and when I was teaching my classes, it's so, it's like life changing for an instructor if you have an <laughs> Apple phone and an Apple watch where you don't have to move from your spot to change the music. Music's over there. You're standing right here. You can just press stop on and off. It's, it's amazing. So I've been just using the watch. I mean, the strap, uh, sports strap. I don't really need the leather strap, but because I knew that this is something that I would not upgrade every single year, just like the phone, it's just that extra touch of lux to get the Hermes version. It's a little bit more special, a bit more weighty. You know, it's a bit of a flex as well because you know it's the orange band. <laughs> but I absolutely am so converted to digital watches. My entire time back home, I brought all my luxury watches back and I haven't worn any of them. <laughs> and I've gone out. You get out. it, Kat, now. You understand why all yeah, my luxury watches my are all in like my drawer. They never come out anymore. I have to force oh, yeah. myself to use them. Yeah, it's, it's, um, it's bad. <laughs> I mean, I do love my, you know, when I take my Chanel uh, watch out or I look at my Cartier, I love it. It's luxe, you know, it's, it's very different. But just from a functionality uh, perspective or just on a daily, I want to check my steps. I cannot stop wearing my watch. It is 
getting a bit obsessive. It actually got slightly obsessive to the point where I told myself, okay, just take it off your hand. You know, a couple of hundred steps here and there will not make a difference. And I put it put it to rest for a little bit because it's just so I don't know, it's so in um it's so good for just everyday life. So yeah, cannot yeah, if you are thinking about an Apple Watch and if you have many luxury watches, just bear in mind that this could take over your life. <laughs> yeah. It's actually, I feel that me. the Apple Watch, uh, it it's not that it takes over your life, but it actually simplifies your life. Because for me, uh, even though I'm not a gym instructor, I feel like I actually put down my phone more because... I feel like if there's something important, I will get all the notifications, right? Point. But if it's not that important, I will just ignore it. Because but I know which notification came in, but I'll just ignore that person or that whatever notification is for the moment and then just keep doing what I'm doing instead of every time if I was to, to go to my phone, not only do you have to like FaceTime uh, authenticate first to get in, like that's already an extra second, but I usually want, while I'm already there, I might as well just you know, reply or do something. It actually takes away more time. Mm, if you that's a good point. Yeah. yeah. Good point. Yeah. I feel like Whereas if I'm... I know what's going on just by scanning uh, at my watch, uh, and I just I, I decide if whether I need to ignore it or or get to it right away. Uh, a lot of times I can just ignore it and just mm. keep doing what I'm doing. Yeah. yeah, my husband or, likes or if it my too. phone was just in the bedroom and I was in the living room and my mom calls and I just pick up the call from there. It's sort of like I know it's just the bedroom and the and the living room is not even that far, but it just is that it just simplifies your life so much. Like so much. Yeah, when I when I go shopping, my husband's like, Did you wear your watch? Otherwise, when I call you, I can't find you. <laughs> yeah. Because <laughs> you know, I might be like shopping, changing clothes, or like doing something else where right. my phone is not in my hand so he's always like did you wear your watch otherwise i can't find you <laughs> mm, good point like i think that it definitely makes it easier for me to like take a look at my messages coming in but when i mean like take over your life because i'm constantly checking my messages now like oh oh, 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 oh really oh. So that's also another thing that i had to learn to be like you where i find what i want to ignore Mm -hmm. I'm better now. Like at first, it was like constantly being messaged because I would put my phone down and I I will see it later. Like oh crap, I've got like 50 messages. But now because it's connected, I'm like ooh, <laughs> worse. Oh, I see. Yeah, okay. Turn off some of the notifications. Yeah. For certain apps. Otherwise, yeah. it's too much. It's yeah. too much. Yeah. So I had to do that. I was like oh, all the emails and all. But yeah. I, I, but either way, it has definitely transformed uh, many parts in my you know daily life and it's nice uh for, even for me on my personal uh, like exercise i just like to I, I like to finish the rings <laughs> i don't know why so here's another like <laughs> did i meet my rings and all of that so yeah like i said you know if you are thinking about getting an apple watch you're an apple user be warned <laughs> it does you know it does make you want to use your luxury watches a little less or you gotta find spaces for your luxury watches because this is just so so lightweight so cool looking as well all right that's my second item okay so my third item so hard because i've had some really good purchases and since we discussed this last week i was thinking should i say the chanel micro bag as well i was going to pick it um but then during this week, I started to play with one of my other bags. And I realized that even though I haven't used it, I really like this bag. It's one of my, I think, best surprise purchases. Unexpected with the whole chase and fomoness. Is this bag. <laughs> ah. <laughs> Wow, this bag is, it's, it's, it's my not, I guess the two is more of like best purchase from usage. And I think the Chanel top handle is also one, the, the mini micro bag is one from usage. But this is one great purchase. It's like that whole unexpected purchase. Such a beautiful color. I love beige, uh, like the 
the Birkin 30 is also this kind of color. And it seemed like it was a good weight because for the longest time, I did not buy the rectangular mini because I found that the straps were too long for me. It was just maybe a couple of inches too long. It always felt fell a little, yeah, even though it was crossbody, it felt a little lower from my hip. But this was like just nice. So they shortened the strap. The color is great. I managed to get it unexpectedly. So it just adds up to it being a really good purchase this year. And I'm confident that uh, even if I don't use it, I can easily let it go. <laughs> I'm very confident <laughs> that if one day I decide that, okay, you know, um, there's too many bags. I need to let something go. I am sure that this is not a bad purchase at the same time. So from not from a usage perspective, but a good score this year is my caramel mini rectangular. It's because it's such a unicorn color. It, it, Chanel rarely makes a caramel color. When they do, it's like every so often. Uh, I don't know for whatever reason since uh, Virginie took over that she has repeated colors even in in um, like one season after another, even though it's not... Uh, see, that's the thing. I haven't seen them in person, so I cannot really tell and I can't compare side by side. But you know the color code for your caramel? It's the same mm -hmm. as the following season or something like that. And it's so weird that they do that now because in the past, you would only be able to see a caramel color item every few years. But mm. regardless, it's still a unicorn color. It's just one of those things where you don't see a caramel mini very often. You right, don't. Right. You just don't. Yeah. So, and this caramel mini is, it's got a bit of pink in it mm. because of that. Yeah, it has a bit of hints of peachy pink to it. So it just makes it quite sweet. So it's not so like brown, brown. It's got a bit of like a pink. Mm, it's quite, I don't, people say it looks very warm. But when I'm looking, I think on the camera, it looks quite yellow warm. But in real life, it actually is quite neutral. Uh, that's a it bit, looks that's neutral a from what I see. You can see it neutral? Yeah, yeah I think it looks like, neutral. my camera. Oh, so yeah. And, and I got it at a time where... Um, was this the same? Is it the same price now? I can't recall right now whether it's gone up. Uh, I'm pretty oh, sure. Oh, it's gone up. up. Yeah, yeah, it's gone up. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> so I bought it just uh, before the last price increase, and yeah, so it was. It's it's really really um one of those purchases that even if I haven't used it, I know that when I start using it, I'm gonna love it. I've been playing around with it in the house. I'm like, yeah, this is definitely a great purchase. One of those scores, you know, like ah. FOMO scores unexpected nice. as well yeah unexpected as well the whole the whole experience from meeting an S, uh, from getting from getting it from an SA who has never serviced me before who kept one for me and just literally I, I have never had any purchase history with her it's just I've just it's one of those stories like I've never bought anything not a priority customer and she got this for me so it's the whole package that makes this yeah, meant to be purchase this year. Yeah, meant to be kind of thing. It's like yeah. getting a quarterback at Hermes, but without pre-spend. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> that's the best. <laughs> all right, all right. Okay, so I saw a couple. So I'm just gonna pull um somebody's let me see who posted while we before we move into the worst, right? The worst purchases this year. All right, let me just pull Vivian's one. My three best purchases, Cartier Love Bracelet in Gold was a gift and I haven't taken it off since. Fendi Moonlight Bag and a vintage <laughs> Fendi Baguette. Wow, Moonlight Bag. That's the first nice. time I heard that. I'm going to Google it. Thank you. So yeah, we're looking to see everybody else's. I can't remember if anyone else posted. Yeah, so you just can keep going. Your best purchases for this year. Three more maybe. And also, the next topic is our worst purchases. And we'll, I guess we'll all have stories on why we, we pick them as worst purchases, right? All right, Clara, let me just pull your slide back. All right. Okay, let's start with... Uh, okay. 
the worst purchase of 2021. So definitely the Hermes, um, I think they're called the Advantage Sneaker. That takes the cake, okay? And the reason is because it got bloody, okay? It got bloody. So I have other Hermes shoes and they're fantastic. I have the... I think I the, I can't remember what the other sneaker is. The one that has the insole. That one is fantastic. They're super comfortable, and I worn them all year. And they are would be one of the best purchases of 2021. If we had like a list of 10 items, uh, definitely in there. But these shoes, oh my goodness! So these are supposed to be very comfortable, but. On the inside of this shoe, on the back, it's split into two parts. There's a part that has leather and there's a part that is the raw leather. The raw leather kept rubbing the, the, um, the sole of my foot to the point it bled, okay? And so what I did was I actually put like Vaseline on it. And then after a while, it would do it again. So it add Vaseline to it. I had to like rub it at least like a dozen times. So it's better now. But I'm so afraid of wearing these these shoes again because I'm worried that, you know, maybe after a couple of hours, it's going to like rub the sole of my foot. So I wish they had made that leather portion a bit longer so that raw leather wouldn't be rubbing against the edge of my foot because it, you know, caused some serious bleeding. So that's definitely the worst. So I'm pretty sure anyone who's had like bloody experiences with shoes, worst purchase. So not surprisingly, the second worst purchase was a pair of Chanel heels. Now this pair did not make me bleed. However, I don't know if it's because of COVID or something else. Um, I didn't wear these shoes for about six months. And then after I wore them, they felt so tight. They felt so tight and maybe because I've been in sneakers for the past year, when I wore these for a day, my leg, my feet were in so much pain. They were in so much pain. And when I bought these shoes, they felt comfortable. This was like towards the beginning of COVID, like I was still wearing heels. And you can see the heel is not that high. It's not a stiletto. And actually, you know, the shoes are not too pointy. So they should have been comfortable. But after I wore these shoes for a day, I'm actually going to get rid of them because honestly, you know, my feet were in so much pain by the end of the day. I just can't wear them. So as you can see, things that cause pain or blood, cut out, <laughs> cut out, you know, anything that luxury should not make you literally bleed. Okay. The wallet is already bleeding. I should not be physically abused by anything I'm spending big money for. So yeah, two shoes. So the third item is uh, a Balmain t-shirt. So there's nothing wrong with the, the shirt or the style or the cotton. The problem is, and you cannot see it on there, it has, um, what do you call them? Like they have like crystals glued on it. You can't see it. Rhinestones. Yes, that's a word. Thanks, Kat. So the word Balmain is in tiny wrap, um, rhinestones. And even though I did turn it inside out and I did wash it in the washer the rhinestones started falling off and that's why it's the worst okay so I don't know what it is between me and Balmain but I just have like the worst experiences with their t-shirt I have the ones with like the big buttons on the side and again because you know I washed it, you know, the buttons rubbed against the cotton t-shirt and it caused holes along where the button is. So this is my second t-shirt that is kind of ruined or damaged. Uh, didn't damage me, but it damaged itself. Um, so it's just like a self-destructing t-shirt to me. So <laughs> I think, <laughs> um, yeah, so no more Belming t-shirts for me because, you know, between the rhinestones and the holes caused by the buttons on the side, I just don't think they're that, you know, uh, I don't know. Maybe it's just me and the way I care for them. It's just they just don't last on me. So, yeah, these are my worst purchases of 2021 only either because it made me pain, put me in pain made me bleed or it was self-destructing so yeah those are my three worst purchases of 2021 interesting did you did you bring your 
Balmain t-shirt back to the store to let them know because it's an expensive mm. luxury item and I don't think the rhinestones should drop off so easily. I've had like, um, I think you see me wear it quite often on some of my videos and live. I have this Sess and Bite uh, black, like, you know, um, muscle tee, a little yes. short sleeve one and I've got like rhinestones I on it. And I'm, oh my gosh, that those rhinestones, they're like the, they are like the Prada they are, I don't know, heat glued onto the shirt. I have washed that in the washing machine with carelessness. Just dump it in. And it, it nothing has come out. It's super glued on. So, and that's, yeah. not, that's not high end, high end. Yeah, I, I, I don't know. I could. I mean, even the one with the holes, they offered to sew up the holes for me or something like that um, at a, a cost. So I was like, forget it. Um, so this, I don't know if they would repair for free. But even if they did, like, I'm pretty sure over time, the rest of the rhinestones would come out slowly. And I haven't even had this shirt for that long. So, yeah, so I, I think for anything T-shirt from Balmain, I probably would only buy the ones that have print and no buttons, no accessories, no nothing. But yeah, because it's self-destructing. So yeah, I just leaves a bad taste in the mouth. Um, so I would rather get like other t-shirts or other brands that I know don't have these issues. So, I mean, I even have a Chanel t-shirt that has like lacy parts, which is supposed to be really delicate, right? But I've washed that so many times and nothing has happened. So yeah, interesting. That's really disappointing, Clara. And it's it sucks because I've only had good experiences with my Balmain items. I mean, and I don't have a ton of them, but I bought pretty much all of my t-shirts and tanks from Balmain in one season. Like I bought them in one big purchase. Um, and I I do wonder if it's uh, seasonal like whether that season the cotton or the mm. I don't know the rhinestones are better the Possibly. buttons are better I wonder because I didn't buy them separately I just bought all of them at the same time <laughs> yeah so um, regardless I mean like this is not a Zara t-shirt yeah, so yeah I've actually seen other people who've seen had situations where the buttons actually kind of like kind of went against the, the shirt and caused some holes. So if you mm. own any of those t-shirts, you just have to be very careful. Wow. You know, I do wonder whether the shoe on the left, what's it called again? Is this the vent? The vintage? The is it vintage? Is this the vintage? I think and it's you're the saying vintage. that the back here is the one that causes you to bleed, right? Yeah, the lower part closer to the sole. So you yeah. see where that rounded bit is? So this that rounded here? bit, uh, no, along the bottom, closer to the oh, bottom of the shoe, here. that part. So the top part on the inside is covered with leather, but the bottom part is raw. So it looks kind of gray and fuzzy. I don't know if you've seen that in shoes, but that part is so rough. And maybe I just have thin skin in my feet, right? I have thick skin for my face and I have thin skin on my <laughs> shoes. So, you know, um, yeah, it... Yeah, I tried to break them in so many times, so many times. And I put Vaseline and other moisturizers mm -hmm. on it, but like, it's just not doing it. So I will keep trying, um, but I would never wear these out for like a full day just in case, you know, I end up with, you know, blood on my feet again. Oh, that's horrible. That's so like bad. shoes. Yeah, it's so bad. Have you... Have you tried, because uh, I have stickers, like they're velvet stickers, and you put them on sandals or whatever that is a bit rough or uh, places that kind of rubs your, your feet in the wrong way. Mm. Have you tried putting those in? Maybe I should try that. Mm. Uh, I should go look for something and see if that can kind of save the shoe. But for such an expensive mm. shoe, I mean, that bit of leather yeah. is like like nothing to them. So... They should have like covered it fully, but I don't know if others have had that problem or if, you know, I just have like thin soles. <laughs> wow. The shape, the shape of how that back part is, it rubs you the wrong way. Probably, but I think it's because of the material. 
Because the Mm -hmm. other shoe, the one that uh, both Kat and Isabel have, they don't have that problem. Mm. They're super comfortable. Yeah, they were my most comfortable sneakers, the other pair. But this pair is just, yeah, not good. Oh, that's interesting. I I see a comment coming in from Padma that if these are the advantage sneakers, Mm -hmm. you have the same uh, worst purchase as Clara. That's interesting. Is it the same issue that it rubs or hmm? Because they because I have seen I have seen these shoes and I have actually tried them on, but not for a long extended period, just in the store. And the leather is super soft, right, Clara? The the whole top I, shoe. I think the one with the insole, the one that you have, is yeah. actually the leather is softer than this pair. This pair also uh feels stiffer. Yeah. It feels oh, stiffer. Just, the other pair yeah, that we I have is it. very soft. Right, right, mm, right. Yeah. Interesting. Interesting. Okay. Oh, well. <laughs> I, I'd say for your bowman, you should go back to the store and give them hell and say that, give me a packet of rhinestones. First, fix my shirt and then <laughs> give me a packet of rhinestones for future use. <laughs> uh I wonder if they yeah, will. Maybe I I, I'm, that, I'm, but... I'm seeing the comment from coming from Oksana. I'm going to pull it. Mm. She also has the same issue as you, like button rubbing uh, against the fabric and that ended up with holes. Yeah, exactly. Oh. So I'm, I'm just thankful it didn't, you know, destruct anything else except itself. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but like your yeah, bags. <laughs> oh, okay. Yeah, I've had that situation before. Nice. Wow. All right. Thank you, Clara. Thank you for sharing. Okay, I'll hand it to Amy. Just let me move back. Yeah. Okay, okay so I'll show one item um, in, in, in person and then the other two, I'll show you the picture. So um, actually, none of my purchases are really bad in terms of like they didn't break or anything. Um, so it's, it's more because I don't use it enough. So this might be a shocker for you, I wonder. And it's funny because I I had a question in one of my recent videos. I can't remember which one. Oh, I think it was my my worst. Oh no, it it was my, uh, what I sold, uh, items I sold and why. And someone asked me in that video, are you ever gonna sell any of your Hermes uh, pre-spend items? And I replied, I said, no, (laughs) I actually love everything. However, this uh, beautiful 140 centimeter scarf, uh, it's actually a shawl and it's wool. It's so beautiful. Like the print is Mm. the three graces. So it has a couple of giraffes on it. I don't think I can open it fully. It's a very classic uh, one. But here's the, that's the giraffe, right? Let me try to pull you. Hang on. Oh, okay. There, here we go. Nice. Like, it's so beautiful. This is just a quarter of it. Um, And it's a neutral color. This is the beige and gray, uh, beige and black, actually. I don't wear it. (laughs) I mean, I do, but I don't wear it enough. I think I've learned from my experience of owning shawls, uh, including my LV shawls, that I only wear my bigger scarves like the the ones that are thinner, like this type, the really big, big scarves, I only wear them in the summer. I don't wear them in the winter, mm. which is strange if you think about it because I think we can put it, put us back uh, because it's just one of those things where you already are wearing such a large coat. You already feel so like, ugh, like such so many layers and then you have boots, you have mittens, whatever, you have a hat maybe. The last thing you want is another big shawl to weigh down on your shoulders. So I kind of don't like wearing them in the winter. And then in the summer, um, unless it's a cooler summer, if it's a hot summer, I'm not going to wear my shawls. Usually we have cooler summers, but this past year has been crazy hot. Um, So I haven't worn it. So I feel like this became one of the worst purchases because I hardly wore it, even though it's beautiful. And I feel like, you know, I talk a lot about the Hermes silks and I love their silks and I still recommend them. But for some reason, this one, I don't know if I can recommend it necessarily unless you are a shawl person, unless you know you 
wear shawls already. Maybe you mm -hmm. work in an office with AC and you always wear a shawl on top. I don't, so um, I have even less opportunity to wear this. And uh, these shawls are not inexpensive. They are uh, the price of three silk scarves, the 90 centimeter silk scarves. So in a way I feel like, oh, should I have bought maybe more silks mm. versus buying one of these? You know, it's kind of one of those things. Um, you know, but it's yeah, interesting. I, sorry. It's, it's, sorry, it's interesting what you said because the way you describe using the shawl on summer times, but on a cooler summer, it's like us on a in Singapore. Uh, it's always summer, yeah. worse than summer. <laughs> but we do have cool days. Like it's been raining so much. So these are the kind of days that we will pull a shawl out, especially when the mall, because even though it's raining and cooler, the malls are blasting the aircon. So we will use it. So for Joe, she's like, it's great. I love it. But it's just that that usage, right? So the way you describe your usage is sort of good for us. Yeah. But, yeah. Oh, interesting. Yeah, I use it a lot in Hong Kong also because of the AC, like Singapore. And mm. it's good because it packs yeah. up really small. So you could put it in a bag or, yeah. So, yeah, I agree. I probably use that more in the, like, for Hong Kong weather than in the winter. In the winter, I might just use a smaller scarf. Yeah, interesting. And I think the pandemic, I have to thank the pandemic for me not using it because. Even during the summer, I have also been hardly going out. I mean, I hardly go out in the winter, but I hardly go out all year. I haven't gotten out so much in the past two years. Like I have gotten out so little in the past two years. Uh, otherwise, I feel like at least I would have used it in the summer. But I, as I said, also, this past summer was super hot. I definitely did not need another scarf on top of that. Um, so I think it's sort of circumstantial as well. And yeah, but yeah, it does pack pretty small. I, I put it in one of my Fendi dust bags because I like how it's yeah. just square and you can just fold it into a small, you can even, yeah, it's very small and compact. And I really love how it drapes. So I'm not saying that this is a, a bad quality product. It's just, I haven't really been able to use it. And yeah, the totally. second item uh, is also from Elmes. Oh my gosh. Um, I will share a picture because I don't, well, I have the item, but I just, it's kind of dirty to hold it. So, uh, let me go to my Chrome tab. Okay. Let me see if you can see it. Yeah, I think you can see it. So, uh, so this is a picture of me in my store. <laughs> I was just waiting at checkout. And um, did I ask my husband to take this picture? I don't remember. Maybe he just took it. I was wearing these loafers. These are the Colette loafers. Clara has them. Clara, Clara loves them. And I do love them too. They are like, from the perspective of construction, they are great. They have very soft leather and it's an understated style. And I love the white. I honestly love these shoes. They look perfect. I love it in white and everything. I would just rebuy it in the same combo even size up more because I already sized up half a size in these. I normally take a 37 and a half in the Paris loafer or the Royal loafers, which I love. But for these, I went with size 38. Then they still rub my big toe, like the top part of my big toe the wrong way. Like it just somehow is pinching it, is squeezing it. And I cannot walk for very long in these shoes. Um, I, I wonder if these shoes are not only just made small, but they just are cut a bit different because mm. the Paris and the Royal loafers have more of a pointy and longer toe box. So uh, people who have a bigger or a longer big toe like mine, because I all my toes, the big toe is the longest. It's not my second toe where most people are, I find. I, for me, it's the actual big toe, the first toe that is the longest. So these, they, they just... Uh, I, I just I'm so sad because I love these shoes and they look so great but I feel like I need to go a whole size up not just a half size up so yeah I, and I don't think I can break them in because it's just the toe part everything else is fine um, even the side yeah. you can tell there's like leather that is you know there's extra space in between the the middle of my foot of my foot so 
yeah very unfortunate yeah, shoes are so tricky so like tricky yeah. i had with mine but these shoes i have worn to death i have mm. like worn these to work like almost every day and if i ever wear them down i would definitely get a second pair so i guess you know with shoes it's difficult like pants you know like based on your the shape of your body and your 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 feet or your 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 butt and your your thigh and your waist it, it's so hard but yeah these are super comfortable for me and I would definitely I'm sorry it didn't work out for you <laughs> no I think I just need to size a whole size up literally even though the wow. rest of the foot will be kind of loosey flowing in it I just need the extra length at the very mm. top left part inner part of the shoe I have I need that extra length somehow which this shoe, I think it's cut more, you know, kind of tapered towards the middle, whereas, you know, the Paris and the Royal, they're more true to size for me because they're mm. more tapered towards the inner part of the shoe. I don't know. I honestly don't really know yeah, what it is. The structure of the shoe, maybe. Yeah. 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 So I feel like even though when I tried it, it's funny because the leather on these shoes are so soft. So you feel like they fit properly. That is the mm -hmm. danger because they are so soft and comfortable. They are flexible, the heel part, everything. But the moment you start wearing them longer, like after you've actually owned them and started wearing them and walking in them, that's when you realize, oh my gosh, it's pinching, it's pinching, it's pinching. And it's only, mm. you know, it's just basically your, your, your big toe part. It's like basically being squeezed. <laughs> like it's, yeah, it's that's not comfortable. I have that issue with a lot of shoes. So um, it's not just these shoes. I think it's just the way my, my feet are structured. So I feel like for certain shoes, if I size up enough and my whole heel comes off, then the shoe is not made for me, basically. So I wonder, I wonder if in the future, if I buy the same style, the Colette again, mm -hmm. in a different color, I wonder if I went a whole size up, whether the whole shoe will come off. Then I don't know that either because I haven't tried mm -hmm. it is possible actually <laughs> and then the next one i want to share let me share my screen again oh this one you guys will kill me for it maybe so it's me wearing my beautiful marco mm -hmm. bag <laughs> um there's nothing wrong with this marco bag by the way one of my lovely subby right now has it as you all know i have done a vlog sale more recently and I sold, uh, I sold a few of my micro bags because I had too many. And this was one of the ones that I let go. There really it was nothing wrong with this one. It's just that I, how should I explain this? You know, you buy one and you buy another one. And then next thing you know, the next season, they actually come up with the one that you wanted originally. So you buy that one too. And then your essay comes out and says she has the pink one. So you buy it too, because that's the same style that you wanted originally. And then you end up with more micro bags than you ever need. Uh, because I'm counting the uh, previous ones that are already owned, the round one, the vanity. So I kind of basically went from, you know, only one micro bag, the round one, to six micro bag, right, in the span of a few weeks. Literally, mm -hmm. like a few weeks during the summer, I... I I had one micro bag and then I added one and I the second one, the third one. Next thing you know, I had six. So uh, this became a bad purchase in a way because I just bought too many. I went a little too crazy. Um, but yeah, I'm glad that one of my subby uh, who's very girly, she loves the chain on it. The color is her, her color. So um, yeah, I just had to pick something. Can you blame me? Because it's so cute, right? Like, yeah. it goes so well with this dress and everything. I would keep everything if I could, but I was being very honest with myself. I already have the black, which I showed earlier, and I have the pink version of that same one. So do I really need a light pink one? Do I really need a boy version? Do I really need a hook version? Like, all those things, you know what I mean? But, so, you know, it's such a pretty color, this is not a bad purchase. It's no, not it's a not. bad purchase at all. It's so pretty. And the color is so pretty. But yeah. I think we all sometimes fall into that trap. 
you know, I have a couple of duplicate bags too. And I think what I've personally learned, like, and I thank you too, is that we generally tend to gravitate towards the one out of the many, but yeah. Yeah, so and pretty. you know what? I feel like if they didn't, uh, because the original one that I liked was the top handle one that came out in 21A. And because I only found out about micro bags, or at least I found out that I needed one the season after. So obviously the one with the top handle was already gone, sold out in Canada. That's why I ended up buying these ones. Mm. <laughs> All of a sudden, mm -hmm. Chanel decided to do, oh, the top handle one again, just the following season after that. Oh my gosh, like literally it just, they're just playing so, um, they're playing this whole game so well. Like they know how to create this demand and mm. they, how to, they know how to make you buy more than you need. And you just, it just happens. It it kind of really just happened. I don't know how else to, to put it. It just happened. It's just um because you love it and then it became passionate on it. So you just bought yeah, more yeah. than what you need in a short span. So yeah, I can understand why you say it's worse. But if it was spread out, may, maybe not. Like, you know what I mean? If it was, say, yeah. a couple of years, then you're like, oh, now I have a collection of them. It's sort of like how people would have a collection of uh, Chanel mini squares or Chanel mini rectangles. They have several of them. But maybe maybe they didn't get in a short span, right? They like, stretched right. out a couple. Of Could have been. Yeah, and because at the end of the day, um, after owning the one with the top handle, it became my most used. It became the one that I like to use the most. Uh, that's why I just decided that the rest had to go. Because if you added up the money that you spent on all those micro bags, they're not cheap, right? We And not we cheap. all know that. And it's fine to buy them, but it's just, yeah, nobody needs six. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Well, you never you know. Use, Maybe uh, one day we'll live in a world where we just don't even use we just wear micro or bags. cash or credit cards anymore. And That's then true. Maybe the micro bag is just to hold some tissues or something. That's you true. But I still know. have three, though. Three. Yeah, I currently still have three after selling off three. <laughs> three is a good I sold number. half of my collection and I still have three. So it's not like I don't have enough to go around. <laughs> <laughs> all right thank you thank you amy okay so i'm gonna Thanks, go amy. with mine uh let me just sh i have one picture so let me just share my screen so let's look at this one i have sold it um oh, kind of kills me to say that this is one of oh, it is a so bad purchase cute. yeah oh my god so cute i love doraemon i i think this when i'm even even as i am looking at it right now i am questioning myself i wish i didn't let it go but i am also pretty practical because i want to use my things um i think earlier this year we said for me i said that i don't want to buy things to collect so when i got this yes it's a collector's piece and plus, I love every single Doraemon that is running around on this bag. It's just so freaking cute. But I knew I wanted to use it. However, this bag is really badly made. Um, it's not thought out. They have the same... I think this is called the o Ophidia. I, th yeah. I think that's what it's called, right? Uh, they have the regular version. This is the limited edition Doraemon uh, Gucci version. I say that it's not well made because of three things. So first, this strap that it comes with is made for somebody who is seven <laughs> foot, okay? The strap is so long. You think the Chanel mini rectangular is long? No. This is like, yeah, it's so long that when I adjust it, the extra leather that sticks out is like it's like as long as a ruler um i can sort of accept it because maybe it's sort of like a style you know it just sticks out like a tail you know, kind of, okay fine close my eyes who know maybe i'll grow a bit taller in a few years <laughs> the other thing about this bag is the way 
the buckles are attached to the back. So um, let me just see if I can bring it a little closer. Okay. So, you know, um, this bag is like a square. It's not very big. It's quite small. But this attachment on the sides here, as can you see that it's pretty low? Usually bags are attached at least two-thirds up or maybe a little higher. But it's actually right at 50% towards the, to the, towards the middle. So because of that, the bag actually tilts as you walk. Because it's already so light, it doesn't have weight. The top, it comes like, it becomes like top heavy. So every time when I'm walking, it moves like this. And when I open the little baggie, it, it's just not very, um, yeah, it's not very well made in that sense, right? It moves, it tilts. And if you're walking faster, if you've got nothing inside the bag, it just <laughs> it starts to spin a little bit like this, like it rocks left to right. And to me, that's badly, that's just not thought out of. You didn't, the person that made this bag didn't actually try it on and say, hey, we should move the buckle a little bit higher. That's all it needs. Then the third thing about this bag is I had very high expectations on this front zip because we love a bag with a slip pocket. I love it, right? Because it's easy to access. It's, um, you know, you can put little tickets. And for me, this is a small errands bag. I'll put my uh, phone inside. And I what I wanted to use the front pocket here is for my MRT card, my tickets, my, um, my credit card. It doesn't fit. <laughs> you would think that once you open this zip, the pocket would go like at least all the way to the end. It's only halfway. <laughs> oh my gosh, what can you put in there? Yeah, so what happens is I would put the card like here, right? I'll put the card all the way here and then the card sticks out. What I have to do is flip the top zip over the card. You know what I mean? <laughs> So that, oh my because there's a little bit of gap here. So the card fits because I flip the top zip over the card. And then I zip it. It doesn't go all the way in. It actually has a little bit of, it needs the top to fold over it. I, so. Uh, you know, it was decoration. <laughs> it was not that really I was really like, I had all this like, uh, so if, I, if you ever get a credit card or it's like somebody's name card that's just one millimeter too long, too tall, you can't fit it in anymore. Oh my gosh, I was just like, okay, so um, I ended up selling it. I just thought that, you know, because I don't want to collect things for the sake of collecting, sitting, it, sitting in my cupboard for the sake of sitting in my cupboard, I just let it go. But yeah, definitely a really bad purchase, B bad decision, you know, <laughs> to buy this, to make my husband buy no, it. No, I don't think it's your fault. And it's really upsetting me that uh, upsets me that like, you know, these are luxury bags, right? So yeah. someone should actually put some more thought on the design, like, you know, the seven foot strap, like, who do they think <laughs> is going to carry this seven foot? And I think I talked it's about really it in bad. other... You know, like if the zipper, if they chipped out on the zipper or they chipped out on the design or in your case, if it's unbalanced, like I, I've tried on other bags, not Juke Gucci, like, you know, name like some of our favorite brands, like you put it on your shoulder and it like tips upside down. Like, does anyone even like try and to use them instead of giving you like a drunken bag? Like, <laughs> You know, like, so, so for that price, like, they shouldn't cheap out on small things. Like, they should actually use it. And it's like a design they repeat, right? So maybe they just think that by putting Dilray Ramon on it, you'll just buy anything, right? Yeah, exactly, right? Um, you know, when I watched uh, Won Won Stokes' video, she did mention about the long strap. And I sort of just like, okay, la, never mind. Because she's, she's, she's a pretty tall girl. And she, when she wore it, I, you know, when I watched back the video, I noticed that it was flipping. But, you know, she's such a style, you know, icon and just, you know, it doesn't really bother her. But she was like, oh, the strap's a little bit too long. And she just laughed it off. And I, I noticed that I was thinking, oh, that's a bit annoying. But yeah, okay, I kind of like the bag. But as, a, you, as you use it, I was like, oh, man, there's all the little things that when you're running out the door for groceries, you want to you want to use whatever space the bag has these are the little things that just oh, it's a little disappointments 
So yeah, that's definitely one unfortunate. That's so bad. Like year. it makes you wonder. <laughs> oh, this bag is defective, and it doesn't work. Oh, but let's just put <laughs> Doraemon on it and make it limited edition, and then it will just sell. Yeah. Actually, even the regular version was selling out. I tried this bag when they uh, just came out uh, with just the Gucci monogram, and I. Uh, definitely remember the long strap for sure. But I noticed that, well, the problem that you're noticing after owning the bag, I noticed that it was sort of flipping a little bit. Mm. And if it was already annoying me after trying it on, I'm like, no. I did not notice that the front pocket didn't fit a card though, because I obviously did not try putting a, a card in it while I was just trying it out. But that is, yeah. That's, that's annoying, was, right? Oh, that's that would annoying. be so annoying. Like, yeah, that. Why you know, do you that need a be... decorative zipper pocket? Yeah, yeah. It's, it's like when you put your card, you're like, eh, to make, you can't go the whole thing. You're like, that <laughs> don't balance, or you just like, I don't know. I don't understand if it was a decoration, but like, it isn't. It's supposed to be functional, right? Anyways, yeah. <sighs> it's good design. <laughs> Had they just moved it a, it a couple it centimeters? Been, it's like high. I, if, if it fit my car, it, it's like. It was like the cherry on top of a bad cake, right? Like a <laughs> rotten cherry on a bad cake. When I'm like, oh, uh, then and then I'm like, okay, open the zip, put my card, and it's like, you know, it's like, eh? <laughs> it could stops. you even like put a lip balm in there with a lip balm you fit, could. or is it no, would it be too fat? fat? But it'll be fat. It's it'll be fat. Fat. So fat. you can't put anything in there except for maybe like paper clips or something. Like or like folded up papers like this. <laughs> Yeah, that so gets anyway. stuck in the middle, like so annoying. It's it's oh. like it's, I ended up using the bag of that front pocket for coins. Like I would just put coins, but there wasn't the point. Like in my head, it should fit parking tickets, train tickets, yeah. MRT, but it was just like such but a coins, wouldn't they be hard to take out? Yeah. If it's like so shallow and when you open it, it's like they all like spill on the well, floor. No, I don't no. know. I think okay. Coins were okay. Coins were all right. You just gotta dig it out with your fingers like that. That's like, a yeah. yeah. I, I don't like digging out something that you can't. It's hard to dig out, and you can't even see what you're grabbing because it's so thin, right? Yeah, yeah. It's just no. the depth. It just needed. Seriously, it just needed five millimeters extra <laughs> that the card would fit. And I was like, "Are you joking?" <laughs> but anyway, oh, so that's, that's gone. Awful. Um, yeah, that was like Ugh, Gucci. You just made me hate you more. <laughs> All right, my next item. Okay, my next two items, I I term them as worst purchases this year because I feel like I could have waited to buy them. It's not that they are bad items. I just out of excitement or maybe a bit of like peer like essay pressure, I decided to buy it. So let me talk about the first one. Uh, I'll share. I don't have it with me. I, it's not that I sold it. I just don't have it with me. It is actually the Kelly belt. Let me just uh, share my screen so that you guys can look at what a Kelly belt looks like. This belt. So I have the black Epsom belt. And this has a little bit of essay pressure because, you know, I have mentioned on my channel I'm not a really a ba uh, belt person. But the idea is great. The idea of belting with a dress, looking really good with it, or belting with the jeans. You know, this picture here. I had to I had to pick this because the picture really speaks a thousand words. This is the way I imagine it. You know, it fits exactly on my belt loop. It looks nice. Um, I've only worn it, I think, um, once. <laughs> Officially once out. Uh, I don't. I didn't wear it with my dress because I don't wear. I don't have many. Actually, I don't have any clothes where I have uh, a need for a belt, and I wasn't going out for work, so I was really at home. And then when the time that I actually wore it with my jeans, it looked like this <laughs> on the on the right side where the loop, the belt loop was too long, and it looked a little bit like it was hanging. So I just, mm. it looked weird. It didn't look, um, it didn't look like the one here, where it's so elegant. And it definitely looked like this picture. It looked like this picture, which I thought didn't, looked out of proportion a little bit. So 
I ended up wearing the belt, but my shirt tucked over it, which defeated mm. the purpose a little bit. <laughs> um, I still think it's a great purchase because really a look with a dress or a big um, loose t-shirt, you know, like a, sh- like a dress shirt or really a loose shirt and you wear it over. I think it's a fabulous look, but I could have waited a bit until I had pieces like that in my collection or I'm back into you know back to work uh, there's a casual Friday where I needed to you know kind of like change my wardrobe a little bit so right now it's still sitting in my cupboard looking pretty it's good to have I don't think I would sell this belt um, I do think that because it's small it's more versatile than the usual luxury belts that I used to have uh, I think it's a good item to have it's just that you need to have pieces of clothing that you can work with the belt. That's why I put it as a worst, worst timing for a belt purchase this year. Kat, I think this belt, a- uh, to me, when I look at it, it, to me, this belt looks best when worn high-waisted. Maybe that's why yeah. when you were wearing mm. with your jeans, maybe they were not as high-waisted, so it looked a bit out of proportion. I feel right. like anytime I see anyone style this belt or maybe just the style of the belt just because of how it looks it's so proper and elegant that it has to be more high-waisted to look good yeah Yeah, thinner ones need to be worn higher or maybe i don't know would you wear it with like a large cashmere shawl over it maybe even um or look for a t-shirt dress or something like that yeah i I think i would wear it with t-shirt dresses uh, while I was in Singapore, I didn't have any of those. I, I do have a few now back when I'm in Malaysia. Like I have my uh, t-shirt jeans dress. And I thought, oh, a perfect Kelly belt will look good with it. So what MK is saying, like it's kind of a little dressier. Uh, when, but if you wear t-shirt and like short jean shorts, actually it didn't go. It, it looked a little out of place. Um, yeah, so it's not ugly. It's just... A uh, little out of place, like maybe it's yeah, I don't know. So anyway, I could have waited a little bit, you know. Um, maybe bought it in twenty twenty two. It's still a beautiful bell. I think it's fabulous that it looks very simple. Uh, I like the fact that you can adjust the strap. Um, but yeah, unfortunately. Okay, my last one. And I blame MK. No, I'm just kidding. MK, I don't blame you. I blame myself for being very, very excited. <laughs> Let me just uh, dig the pair of shoes out. This pair of shoes, it's just because I feel like I was kind of over-enthusiastic and I bought two. I'm actually selling one of it. It's the or- um, Legend shoes. This is exactly the same as a timing issue. <laughs> When we came out of a mini lockdown in Singapore, I was so excited to go back to the office because, you know, being cooped up in the house is just, so I was, you know, uh, my knee was better and all that. And I decided to buy two pairs at the spur of the moment. I bought the black and the brown pair. And they actually are very comfortable. I think also the fact that when I wore them, having a bad knee, I could walk in them it just made it even more exciting that I needed to get both pairs at the same time. Shortly after that, we locked down again and I I just haven't worn the brown pair. So kind of feeling a little guilty on buying two at the same time. Um, of course, if nobody buys it from my closet, no issue. Just wait for lockdowns to be over, wait for us to go out. I'll, I'll definitely wear it. So it's not something that... I desperately need to let go. It's just a feeling a bit of a guilt factor. But I put it as a worst purchase because, again, I shouldn't have been so excitable about buying two pairs at the same time. Similarly to the Kelly Bell, I just should have waited just a little bit. But they are beautiful shoes. They make my legs look, wow, really, really look good with them. Super elegant. Um, but yeah, I didn't need two pairs. A little bit like you, right, Amy? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> six micro bags you uh, you actually said it um when you said guilt factor i'm like oh yeah that totally was exactly what i was looking like i couldn't describe it earlier i'm like i don't know how to describe it except saying that i have too many but it is i just feel guilty buying so many in a span of 
well, the first two I bought in the span of a week, and then the other two, uh, it was just the next season. I bought two also in the span of the same week as well. Actually, I bought three, but the the last one I had to wait a little bit because I had to find it somewhere else in Canada. <laughs> And that's why I ended up with six with the original one I already had. Mm. So yeah, I definitely felt so guilty. I'm like, oh my gosh, that's a lot of money. I don't need six of them. Amy, you're crazy. Okay, time to let some go. <laughs> so you put it yeah, exactly and I... the, the same way. Like you put it the 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 exact way I would describe. I would have And described. I had other shoes as well, you know. I bought like the um the same I forgot the name of our shoe, uh, Clara, the one with the platform. The one with the platform, uh, the Oran? No, no the, which shoe? The, the, sport, the, the, sport, the Hermes sport shoes that we both have. Oh, I can't the remember. Van. Oh, the Voltage. The Is voltage? it called the Voltage? Yeah, the Voltage. Yes, the yeah. Voltage. Sorry, oh, the but voltage, those are so comfortable. And I bought these shoes. I bought these two shoes for work. And then I had another pair. I can't remember right now. I had another pair. And it's just that it was all this like preparation to live our lives again and in Singapore, like going out, going to work and, you know, doing all that and suddenly like deflated. So there, they were just sitting there. Yeah, it was a guilt, definitely a guilt factor there. So, mm. but I, I think it was really hard, right? Because it's also COVID. You don't know when you're going to go out again. You don't know when you're going to use, you know. Yeah, so hard. So hard, I know. Yeah, so anyway, those are like, ugh, we don't want to think about it. Let's go back to the best purchases. <laughs> but thank you, Clara and Amy, for sharing. I am going you, to... Uh, yeah, I'm going to just scroll through and pull some um, of your best purchases. Okay, here I we go. Just really randomly. Yeah. Oops, sorry. I, I okay. probably pulled the wrong comment. Just oh. feel free to remove it. <laughs> or Did just go to some other comment. Okay. For the love of bags, best. Birkin... 30 gold on gold, nice. Mini 18 Constance Black with rose gold hardware and a mini trendy CC. Worst? Nice. Uh, none, maybe. None. Like, mm, wow, all good purchases. Oh, MK is saying, okay, I think this, this pair of shoes has popped up a few times. Ship. How do you pronounce this? Sheep? Yeah. Sheep that's why, yeah. that's how I would say it. Sheep, sheepskin sandals made my feet bleed. <laughs> oh no. Wow. Okay. Best from MY. Starting my luxury collection. LV Speedy B25 Damien Abin. Hermes Three Graces <laughs> and a YSL Small Lulu in white. Yeah. Wow. Nice. Oh, we're starting the collection and go white all the way. Yeah, in nice quiet. purchases. Yeah, the Three Graces is so nice. It's just that I don't wear mine, but I will be wearing it. I'll find an occasion. It's not going anywhere. It's such such a well-made scarf, and it's so yeah, pretty. It's really nice, and it's very classic. Yeah. Oksana, best is a B30. Katya Love, small, and a Chanel 19 caramel. Yes. Yeah, all very classic color. and pretty pieces. Oh, such a good color. Okay. Uh, here, pull a few more. My best is a Celine canvas Boston bag in small. If you can't get the LV Speedy or sick of LV, you should take a look at this one. It's the best. Yes, dream bag. Mm. Mm. All right. Nice. Celine okay. has been quite popular Celine. too. Yeah. Now from hearing from you and then everyone else, like, okay, maybe we should check out Celine. And believe, worst. Dior signature Ah, oh, Dior, Dior kitten, kitten heels. They are unwearable after an hour. I think it's too small on sizing. Mm -hmm. mm. Is this the one with that ribbon at the side? I wonder because I tried those. And I also, um, I agree. Uh, but for me, I thought it was my foot problem. But it's so true. The toe box is so narrow. It's like, how is anyone mm -hmm. supposed to walk in those things? And if I sized up, which I tried then my whole feet, my whole heel would come off. So it's unwalkable. Mm. Interesting. You have, to, you have to be able to walk in pain to wear these shoes. I honestly don't know how else you walk in them. This kind of reminds me of like the, 
Louboutin shoes that everybody mm. was at one point everyone wanted a pair of Louboutin shoes but everyone's like oh the 75 centimeters or 90 centimeters you kill your feet but they look so good like you know and I was scrolling and looking at the comments nobody has said they bought any Louboutin shoes <laughs> <laughs> yeah yeah they're very they're pretty but I think there's only anymore. certain styles that it's tricky because it's a very narrow shoe mm. No, but I heard that it's not just the narrowness. It's just like how the the shape is made. Because you can have high heel shoes that are so comfortable. But for some reason, I all I hear is that Louboutin shoes are not comfortable. Mm. But they look good. Yeah, they look good with the red sole. <laughs> I don't know. It's like food. Why does everything that tastes good is like bad for you? Mm, true. <laughs> what? Man. Good one. Unless you're used to it. My H journey best. There's a lot of B30s, huh? Hermes B30, a K28, mm. and a Mini Lindy. Chanel Mini yes. Rectangle. Yes. Nice. Mini Lindy. Oh, Vivian. Let's see what's your worst purchase. The Dior Saddle Card Holder. Oh, card Holder, okay. LV Nano Speedy and the Palm Springs <gasps> Mini sold all three. Why oh, does Nano Speedy? I'm trying to get one. <laughs> I'm wondering why you don't like the Nano Speedo and even the Palm Springs Mini. These like these two are very popular bags. Can no, you but tell the Nano why? Speedy, you, it's hard to fit your phones along with everything else. And I think most people that buy it wants to be able to, because it does fit your phone. That's the thing. It fits it, but it's hard to take it in and out of your bag because it's such a oh, narrow. Why? Is that why? You, you need one of these. Yeah. <laughs> but the yeah, point the is, sling. if, you, if you're going to wear that, is because if your, your bag is so small, it wouldn't fit a phone, but it actually fits it in the nano oh, space. That's true. That's true. That's true. Been been um, cheated, feel cheated, yeah. <laughs> but even the Palm Springs Mini is a, a, still a very good bag. I still own that yeah. bag. It's my only monogram. Well, it's not my only monogram, but it's probably one of the few that I will still keep. Yeah, it's a great bag, actually. Oh. I feel like the Palm Springs Mini because I have looked at it a few times since I was look also looking for a replacement. Is that it just depends on the batch that you're looking at. Some of them just look so poorly made. Mm. When they took mine back uh, because they couldn't repair it, the, the one that they presented me next, it was so like, it looked used. It was so crumbly and, and just so, you wouldn't think that it's a luxury bag. It just looks like garbage. Mm. Oh no. Ouch. Wow. <laughs> I know. <laughs> Joe, best purchase a B25 Cellier mini reissue. Mm. So, so good. And a VCA Sweet Alhambra. Yes. Mm. Nice. I see a lot of H purchases here, you know, <laughs> Padma. So Hermes, true. Lindy, Itope, v VCA Lotus White Gold Pave earrings. Oh, I nice. Want a small gray costume. Well, I've never heard of this. Lotus white gold. Lotus. So it looks like a flower, probably, but it's got diamonds on it, maybe. Wow. Very That's special. Good. Very, very special. Oh, a small gray classic flap. Yay. I have Yay. one. Yay. That one's a really nice one, too. Oh, wait. This one, sorry. Jen. Best love bracelet in white gold with diamonds. <sighs> nice. B25 Togo Itan Rose Gold Hardware and Gold yes. Oasis Sandals. Wow, that's nice. That's a nice oh, look. Wow, what a that's great a year. Nice wow, wow, wow. Yeah. Okay, so I pulled that. My best. Eileen, B30 Itan Rose Gold Hardware, YSL Baby Lou, and all my Oran sandals in different mm. colors. <laughs> oh, nice. <laughs> Nice a lot one, of B30s. Nice oh, Joe, this is interesting. Because I was thinking of getting this. The mini pop H earring cannot answer the phone with those earrings. <laughs> and a sports cap from Hermes. I'm returning it. Oh, oh which so one? Pretty. I have I have so many sports cap that I bought this year from Hermes. Which one did you buy that you're returning? 
And why? You're not wearing it? Maybe. Maybe you're not wearing it, yeah. But the sizing is a little off, huh? I will say. Because mm -hmm. I have three, uh, three hats from Hermes and two of them are tighter. And one of them, actually, the, there's one that I did not purchase. That one is so loose. And they're all in the same size. Very weird. Oh, wow. Yeah. Hmm. Okay, one more. Oh, God. <laughs> the Hermes leather sneakers. I couldn't even walk around the store in them. I rebought Echo in the end. Mm. Echo. Echo are so good. Yeah, uh, shoes are really tricky. I think uh, it may work for me, may not work for you. May work for you, may not work for me. And uh, yeah, you have to actually try it. And, and you know, Clara, that pair of shoes that you have. Actually, sometimes you got to try it long enough. But you're not going to wear it long enough in the store, right? Half and 15 minutes at max. Even that feels so long. 15? I don't know. I, I feel like... <laughs> I, I feel like if they make you bleed, I don't know what fifty, but I feel like if they make you bleed, they should refund you because nobody in their right mm. mind is gonna go slit like their souls to go return the shoes. No. <laughs> Actually, you know what if I, I wonder what if you could return the shoe? Like, let's say I you're a good customer, you buy a lot of things, and then you buy this one pair of shoes that. Like I can't wear them. They're hurting me. Does are you is it returnable? Like because you have a return day policy, right? No. Well, that's like only it, if it's Hong unused. Kong is more exchange than unused. I doubt it. They just take your money and say, Yeah. yeah. I doubt it too. But if it was Nordstrom, they would. Oh. Nordstrom does everything. They will take back a pair of shoes even a year later. This is the oh. strangest thing I've heard. I'm like, I what? Know. I think it's the <laughs> North American kind of thing. Yeah. Well, I don't but know. You can if go do to Costco, Canada, buy Christmas like, tree and lights and return it two years later. <laughs> yeah. I'm like, what? I've never heard that before. <laughs> <laughs> Eileen, worst. An Hermes candle holder. So much dollar till I have yet to unbox it. Oh. <laughs> What did you buy? Candle holder. Interesting. Candle holder. So why did you buy it then? Did you need one? Or was it a pressure purchase? Mm, good question. You no, know, I don't think you need a pressure. candle holder. Candle holder? <laughs> <laughs> well, if you're into like, you know, those romantic dinners with the candle, I don't, you know, I don't know what they look like. Maybe it's one of those. No, but I'm just wondering if, if you haven't opened it yet, then then you were not that excited when you bought it, right? So why did you buy it? That's that's what I'm trying to understand. Are you mm. renewing your Hermes membership? <laughs> and that would be your explanation, <laughs> right? Probably, yeah. Uh, probably, yeah. Uh, there's some element in it, huh? Let us know. I'm curious <laughs> now. Candle holder. Oh. <laughs> Viv P. Best purchase. Hermes Pale Blue Evelyn. Lilac. Pearl Crush Vanity and a 21A Pink Coco Handle. Nice. Wow. A lot of nice Chanel scores there. Mm. Oh, this is interesting. Three unsure purchases. Mm. Oh. Mom Sylvester Bolide, Chanel 19 Caramel, and a Rose Ob Sandals. Or on Rose Ob Sandals. Unsure purchases. Oh my is gosh, I color? love Mole Sylvester. Is it the colors? Is it color or is it because of what the bag? Mole Sylvester? The bolid. Mole Sylvester is like your, like your CDC. Purple. Ooh. It's like the CDC I got. It's a very pretty color. So I'm wondering if it's because of the, the bag or the color. Or, yeah. No, because the, the way I read this is that the three items have very... Uh, standout colors like caramel not everyone likes beige right um, rose aube I'm not sure what that color is but it's some sort of pink and then mauve sylvester is also a, some sort of like purple pink so I wonder if it's because of the colors mm, possible let us know it. yeah it's possible you know something you're not sure of the color like you love the color but when you wear it it's like Oh, I like the bag. I like the item. Interesting. Okay. Color plays a big role for my items for sure. I they they might be the greatest 
design item or whatever but if they're in the slightly just unsure color actually i wouldn't say they're bad colors just unsure colors for me i i would tend to not wear them as often actually clara gave very good advice um that time when you went to get your birkin remember mm. you told me you wore you wore everything that you, you wore every color that you could of your favorite colors and the colors that you wear often so you wore like your blue skirt your pink this you brought everything that when you tried the bag if it didn't go you wouldn't have taken it right remember you told me yeah this? It was really good yeah advice. yeah thank you for reminding me because i'm thinking about color bags and that's actually a good reminder to myself to do that again yeah and i because i never you know you everything looks good with black because I always wear black. I wear quite a lot of black and blue jeans. Everything looks good with it. But then if you were to wear something that you actually also favor in your collection, then you're like, oh, this is not a good, this, this bag doesn't go. So I thought that was a really good idea to wear something that you love, commonly wear. It may not be black. If, if it's black, of course, everything looks good with black, right? Yeah. So if you're going for a color bag, Try not to wear black unless you always mm. wear black. Mm. Mm. Yeah. Okay, let me see. Ah, Josla, Josla, best purchases 2021. Black Picotan 18 gold hardware. Small a uh, Enron small puffer in dark beige. Oh, nice. Nice. Prada re edition 2005 white Safiano. Oh, nice white Safiano. Okay. All right. This is one question for you, Amy Patma. Have you tried triangle cashmere scarf? They can be used the same way as a 140 cm without the bulk and can also be carried in the bag. Mm. I, I have you saw those. those. I have but, not tried it, but I know they I know they do exist. Um should I try it? I don't know. Should I? Should Maybe you? if I have nothing else to buy, then I'll try. <laughs> <laughs> but I agree. It, it would be half the bulk, right? So it would be so much um, more... Uh, what's the word? Mm, comfortable? I don't know. Mm. Less bulky? Mm. Yeah. It still keep you warm, right? It's still functional, I yeah, guess. Yeah, it will. It will, for sure. Yeah, I'll definitely keep an eye out next time if I'm browsing scarves again. Nice. Thank you. Jen, worst purchases because of lack of use. Rose, go <clears throat> Rose Sakura Picotan 118. Wow. 140 Hermes scarf and mm. any luxury dressy heels because there's nowhere to go. Anywhere formal enough. Yeah. Mm. Mm, lack of use is an annoying thing, right? I guess that's why a lot of people <laughs> decided to make a lot of sales last this year. It's like they maybe bought, or maybe not even the new things that they bought. It could be just things that they just have been keeping for a while. It's like, oh, I haven't been using it. So sell. All right, Rebecca. Best purchase, Totoro puzzle bag, Birkin. Mm. 30 in blue orange and a white oran sandals. That's a lot of Birkin 30s. Huh? It's giving me a bit of a like, what's going on? What's with the Birkin 30s? <laughs> Nobody's with a 25. No, but 30 is still more universal size. Yeah, that's true. Yeah. Yeah. It's a it's a friendlier size. Yeah. And your worst purchase is a Chanel Mini in caramel. <laughs> <laughs> never used it. Oh no. Okay. Hermes uh Oran sandals in gold. Eh? Oasis, Oran. sorry. Oasis okay. Sandler in gold. And then those two because I'm pickier with purchases this year. Ah, okay. Mm. Okay. All right, this is a question from Eileen. Looks like H leather sneakers not working out for most. What about Gucci and Dior? Any recommendations? I like Chanel sneakers the most. Mm. 
-hmm. but I haven't tried the Elmer. Oh, actually, I tried Elmer sneaker once. I tried it when I was with Clara. I think I tried the Voltage, right? In black, though. Actually, yeah, the the Voltage, yeah, the one with okay. the in insole. Yeah. yeah. So they were very comfortable for me. The issue was I didn't like, I didn't like the style on me. It was I don't know something off. Can't put my finger on it. It's just something about how I dress and then the shoes. It just looks so disconnected. So mm -hmm. I personally feel, uh, although I don't have a ton of sneakers, but I I have been trying more of Chanel sneakers this year. I personally feel that every time I tried the Chanel sneakers, I like the look and I also like the comfort level. Mm. Yeah. And I think it's the style too, like just how the shoe look on my feet with the rest of my body, like with the rest of my clothes, it just looks more cohesive. Interesting. And yeah, Clara, you did say that Chanel shoes, like sneakers, you got a couple of pairs already, a little bit more. Yeah, I have a few of them. On average, I think they're okay, the sneakers. Uh, Gucci, I used to own a pair of the A sneaker. I mm. wore those to death. Yeah, I, I just threw them out. I think I owned those for at least six, seven years. They're so comfortable. Ooh. I never tried Dior though, but Gucci, I find in general, their shoes are pretty comfortable. Most of them, um, including high heels. Because the... the I don't know, maybe it's because of the shape of my foot, but their um, the structure of the shoe tends to be a bit wider. So mm. Asian people tend to have wider feet. So they just uh, work very well for my feet. Yeah, I have a pair of Gucci A sneakers. Um, they do start out being quite uncomfortable because they are full leather. They are, the leather is a stiffer for me when I tried, when I wore them. But once... I broke into those shoes. Like the leather is so comfortable, so soft. Um, haven't had Dior. Um, haven't had the best luck with Chanel, uh, but I haven't tried their sneaker shoes. Do have like the um, leather one. It's okay. It's all right. You don't like Nobody the leather wants... one? Um, kind of narrow for me. Oh, see, so... that's what I like about it. Because I have the same pair you have, but in white. And yeah. I like how it's more narrow and longer because that's how my feet is. It has that long toe problem, right? Oh. It's not super yeah. narrow for me because like I have regular width, but I think maybe my feet is longer, slightly narrower than, uh, than it is wide maybe. So for me, mm -hmm. it's actually the perfect shoe for me, which is why I prefer Chanel shoes. I tried, uh, I tried on a couple of other sneakers before I bought those, just because I like the style of the, these ones more. Mm. Oh. Yeah, it, I didn't look nice. It, it felt a bit narrow at the front for me. It's not that I have very mm. wide feet, but it's just that when I wear it, I just, it, just a little bit, not so comfortable. Like it just needed an extra five millimeter to make it. Or the way it's shaped, it's just really long and narrow. It's just when I look down, I'm like, hmm, didn't look good and didn't feel perfect. I like see. um the Gucci A sneakers, they are actually like like that at the front a little bit. Right. So that extra yeah, more rounded. Yeah, more round this is super slight, more rounded. Felt more comfortable. Whereas the Chanel shoes that you have and I have, they are actually really straight. Yes. And that is <laughs> That's so the reason why I, I love I it. Found oh, that the voltage was too bulky. I it, when I look at my feet, I look like I have men's feet. That's how I felt when I wore mm. them, and it had a disconnect with how I how it looked on me. Like I don't, I didn't know why I didn't like. I just don't like them when I wore them. So mm. I think yeah. So we're so different. Then that's why I feel like um, even with the Hermes loafers. I prefer the more longer toe box and the, and the sort of like the slimmer, longer look of the Paris and the Royal Loafer versus the other ones. Just just from the looks point of view and also from the comforts point of view. But I think that's because of the shape of my feet and just also my preference, I think. Right. Yeah. Interesting. Mm. I, I, I do so, own yeah. the same sneakers in black. They, they're okay for me. 
they're okay for me. But I, I just don't wear them as much because I just have too many shoes. Actually, mm -hmm. I've been wearing a lot of uh, Roger Vivier. If you're looking for something a little different, different. I love mm. those. Wear them today. I'm really interested to check out Roger Vivier. I, I think from last week's live, um, I think it was Joe, you mentioned that they have a stall, uh, like a, a sh store at Taka. So I'm looking forward to, well, maybe I shouldn't say that. I'll just go and check it out. I don't look forward to check it out. Just in case I find something that I really like, there'll be trouble. I don't need any more shoes. <laughs> oh, okay, I'm gonna pull some. Um, okay, from Vivian, because we were asking you why the Nano and why the Palm Springs. So Nano is because I'm not a big fan of the Vaqueta, and then Palm Springs is not a backpack person. Fair enough. Yeah, mm. it's one of those things. Kind of have to realize it once when you use it, right? Oh, June. June Wells, best purchase, Chanel Little Black Jacket in blue? Blue, blue? blue? I think that's blue. Pretty love. Lay? I don't know. I have no idea. I don't know what that is. Okay, nice. Chanel, wonderful. In Jersey. In Jersey? Best. Oh. 29C found in a boutique and a Rolex date. Just nice. Nice. Really so very yeah. unique. What is Jersey. Jersey is the dentist. 2019C. Oh, you know what? That's like, that's like, uh, 2019C is like end of 2018. So it's, is it between move? the one that's like between a denim and a cloth kind of? Is that the know? one that Kim Curated has? <laughs> the denim blue, trendy CC? <gasps> I'm wondering that's denim, if that's no? the one. Or is that jersey? Because it doesn't really look like denim denim. It doesn't? Is... Oh, maybe it is jersey then. Okay. Mm. It's blue. Oh, okay. okay yeah, it was yeah. like a dark navy blue or something like that, right? Can't remember. It did look very nice. from picture. I thought it was denim. Okay. Eileen's telling us about her high dollar candle. Oh, uh, <laughs> <in those laughs> Yeah, yeah. Expensive candles do need an Hermes candle holder. Just teasing you, Kylie. <laughs> <laughs> Take it out to use. Take it out to use. Okay. Elion, um, my best purchase happened in 2021. Four Chanel <gasps> Classic Flats. Wait, let me read wow. this. 21 B White, 21 B Burgundy, 21... P caramel and 21 S rose clear. Wow. 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 <laughs> so you got the caramel first and then the rose clear and then white burgundy. Oh my gosh. Wow. <laughs> Was there a burgundy? Yeah, because 21B is the uh, fall act one, right? So yeah, they I had they had burgundy. burgundy. I think. Hmm? Whoa. Because it's a fall season, they usually have some sort of burgundy. Oh, so good. Didn't I say that? Was it this year though that I said that? Possibly. Um, but I feel like they always had a burgundy every fall season. Yeah, that's true. Yeah. They do, but I don't remember anybody posting, like, you know, one of those colors. Maybe it was um, overshadowed by. It was overshadowed by the dark gray color. Oh, mm -hmm. it was the dark gray. Yeah, that's why. Yeah, they had a burgundy. It was a dark yeah, gray, I and then also some people bought the white. Harris bought the white, I think. And also maybe yeah, it was overshadowed really nice. by the black rose gold. Yeah, was that twenty one B or twenty one K? Forget mm. it doesn't matter. But for sure, if it was the classic flap in caviar, the the dark gray was slightly kind of popular on the Instagram feed. Yeah. True. Okay. Oh, people, you've been buying things, huh? <laughs> Everybody yeah, has been wow. like, "Wow, look at this! Two Mini Kellys. Wow, Mini Kelly Craig Gold Hardware, oh Mini Kelly Mauve Sylvester Palladium, a Mauve Sylvester Palladium, a class wow. um, Chanel Mini Classic Rectangular White Light Gold Hardware, and then nice. you, have, you have the lip ring." 
A 22C lip ring. Uh- <laughs> So I'm I'm wondering though, Lux Addict, uh, why did you buy the lip ring? Did did you really think of wearing it on your lips, or were you thinking of wearing earrings? Your ears? I guess the ears is harder. You have to really try it on because everyone's ear shape is different, right? I know some people were able to, but it's so it really depends on how your ear part here is. But I would yeah. take any of your mini Kelly, honestly. Oh my gosh! Wow! Wow! Amazing! Ooh amazing those are nice colors oh. christine bully 31 in blue pale kelly 28 the bean lindy 26 rouge de Cur, and mm. a picotan 18 wow great gold. year great year there's a lot of mess floating around there isn't is there no <laughs> oh okay Chanel sneakers has in leather. Yes. Oh. Sneakers in leather. I w- yeah, ours are called sneakers, right? The ones that yeah, I, I would call them right? sneakers or they're at least partially leather. Like the like some of the trims are gonna be leather. On the mm. like if you don't like these, okay, I have them right here. <laughs> I was gonna talk about them, but these ones, yeah, these ones are full leather. Mm. Sorry, can you see? Yeah, I don't want to hold the bottom because I did wear them already. Yeah, they're really slim. I actually the shoes yeah, I'm using the Chanel that shoe box. <laughs> That's why I love them. I think yeah, I think you just have to. Um. Yeah, and plus they are pretty long. Like they they are pretty long as a shoe. Like for yes. three, seven and a half. I was like, oh. I was like so surprised and I like that they're long because it, it fits me <laughs> when it's longer yeah. and because it's narrower it does, my feet doesn't come off because when it's too wide and I have to size up because of the length then my whole feet comes off I can't wear yeah. those I think that's what the uh, the voltage remember uh Clara I told you that I have to take a size like a half size longer just for the toe part but uh... then I felt like my ankle was coming off I was like, yeah, oh, and they're yeah, they're quite like my a little heavy, feet. like the soles too, because yeah. of the insole. Yeah, yeah. But I hate putting insoles in my shoes. I want them to fit right off the bat, and if they don't, then I just rather not, right? Mm. Especially mm. at these prices. Yeah. Okay, twenty one B burgundy was the most stunning burgundy I have ever seen. Mm, ah, I didn't realize nice. there was a burgundy. Oh my gosh, I love burgundy. It was a nice burgundy. It looks almost like the burgundy I bought many years ago. It's a really wow. nice one. Yeah, the one on my large classic flap. It's very similar to that one. Let me just Google it at the same time. Okay, something about burgundy. <laughs> it's not quite red. If you like red, but you don't know if you can... Or do you don't know that you you like to pull off a red bag necessarily? Burgundy is sort of like the perfect color. Because mm. if you yeah, don't want it's black, a, it's neutral. It's yeah, a neutral it's a, it's to a me. Red neutral, right? Yeah. Like red with neutral. Yeah. Oh, I missed one here. Let me just pull this. MY. Best Chanel two tone. Oh, sorry. Best Chanel two tone sling bags. YSL. Uh, a nice flats in ivory, Tiffany high tie earrings, and a Cartier Panther watch. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I see the next one. Ooh, it's good. I don't have a worse this year because my wallet hates me. <laughs> <laughs> it's great when you don't have a worst. Wow. I love the Cartier Panther. I'm obsessed. <laughs> Have you tried it? I've looked online. I, I do like it a lot. Oh, I've tried the ring. I haven't tried any of their bracelets. Oh, okay. Oh, but it's really the workmanship is out of this world. You know, you, you think that the work, I mean, these, I mean, the workmanship for our JUC is really nice because it does take, you know, to bend and all. But when you see the workmanship on that cute face, the tiger, I mean, the, the panther, the way the eyes are, it's so, wow, it's like s- oh, spectacular.
spectacular. Mm. Maybe one day. <laughs> <laughs> so expensive. One day. Huh? Because, you know, one day. One day. One day. Ooh. Aline says your pair of sneakers. Yes. Mm. Are they classics? I can't remember. Yeah, they are. They are. It's a rev uh, on the code, style code. It's R E V. Yeah, when they initially came out, they were really hard to get. They so still I guess are. They made them classic. So, mm. so I'm actually the the box that I'm using to prop up my computer is the pair of shoes, is the, <laughs> the same sneakers. So I'm looking at it, and mine are 18B. So I think. Also, oh, I, I must have came out then. Yeah, yeah, I got the ones that are not rev. There, no, there's no REV here. Yeah, they have made them rev since. Uh, but I know they're still not easy to get. Uh, it's funny, actually, because the day that I went back to Celine to try the size 36 jacket, the mm. SA was obsessed with my shoes because those were the shoes I wore that day. And she's like, oh, oh my gosh, I want those shoes. And she even took a picture. She even took a picture. And then, uh, of course, they were out of stock. But um, it's still possible to get them. It's just that I hear at least in Vancouver, they only, if they ever get these shoes, these Rev shoes, they only get, if you're lucky, they even, they only get like two pairs in your size. And what? sometimes they don't even come in all the sizes. I know it's there was once, um, yeah, there was once I wanted uh, another pair of shoes. And then basically it's just when, as they come, if my SA spots them, then she can let me know. So. Yeah, shoes even at Chanel are hard to get. It's like the black sneakers that I got. I had to wait like a mm. year for them because they came in sporadically mm -hmm. and they came in different sizes. And then they have to remember to keep it for you because they might only yeah. have one or two pairs. So kind of like the everything at Chanel though. is really hard now. Yeah, you're throwing money at them and it's hard, huh? <laughs> It's because everyone's throwing money at them. That's true. That's I was true. reading an article that in Korea, I think it was, like people are setting up like tents to like get in on like the first day to get what they want. It's crazy. But yeah. do they know if the item is in though? I don't you know set up they tents know, around, but you know they have it. There were pictures of like tents of people camping outside Chanel to get in like early for launch i'm assuming it's for launch right so but that's just crazy it is crazy because nowadays even on launch day they don't have everything mm. no because of covid you're right they don't always yeah. have everything on launch date it's insane i i, I it's you would see tens outside apple store but now it's Apple, uh, they, they do anymore, line up, but it's not as much anymore. Yeah, not as anymore. Now it's, now it's gone luxury, huh? Yeah, I think so. <laughs> <laughs> Apple, uh, forget it. <laughs> June, my the Chanel jacket is in... Boucle, okay, yeah. Boucle. It's perfect Two, for Canada. Boucle. What book, what's Boucle? Uh, it just means... Boucle is like, it's... It's like tweed, basically, I think. Oh. Okay, MK, you can correct me if I'm wrong. Uh, perfect for Canada weather. The trendy is in a dark navy, not denim, but in jersey cloth. I know it's fabric, but it's fabulous. No price increase on this bag. Oh, interesting. I don't think mm -hmm. I saw this. Okay, I'm going to read it. Boucle, boucle, um, boucle, okay, boucle or boucle fabric is simply a type of yarn that is primarily used as an accent fabric, a textured fabric, or a dimensional accessory for other fabrics. It is commonly seen paired with other fabrics or used as an accent feature. Okay, that doesn't help. Um, <laughs> <laughs> Maybe you just need to Google Chanel boucle. <laughs> I don't know. Yeah, I'll see. Well, because like, boucle like, means curl. That's why I did this earlier. So that's that's why um, I'm trying to find wordings to to describe it better than than just showing my hands. But boucle fabric. Oh, that's pretty. It's like um, it looks like. Oh, it's a yarn. Okay, heavy fabric yeah, the, made of yarn. The, That's really the word nice. boucle means uh, 
curled or ringed in French, made of a series of looped fibers. Wool is the most common fiber to undergo this technique, though cotton, linen, and silk can also achieve the fabric's texture. Um, oh, when I see this, if you have a picture of like the fabric, I think it would be so hard for me to describe how. Yeah, hang on. Let me just let me just bring it up. It looks like okay. If I see this fabric, I would think, oh, towel material. <laughs> Yeah, I guess so. It's sort of like, but towel. it's not towel. Like, yeah, there you go. Or maybe towel is boucle, I guess. I don't know. You see? It's like towel, well, right? Chanel did um, do some towel-y type of material. They also like use like the type of towel like so for Terry, or sometimes they use that in their beach collection too, if it's more like a towel material. But it's not necessarily towel. So I have this site, babe. I'm gonna send it to you if you scroll through. Actually, why I can I can just share the screen. All right, you share it. Um, so interesting. So it okay, well, depends on what the fabric material is. So MK is saying boucle is generally made of wool and often so released. So here, this is a wool one. Winter. Do you see this one? Oh. So this would be a wool boucle. Um, and then I saw earlier this one, sorry, not this one. This also is considered boucle, but it's just in probably cotton and other fabrics. So it's oh, just the texture. It's just that it's all curly. Uh, yeah, it's just, yeah, it's just like how they wo woven it, I guess. I don't know what the words are. Like this, the sofa. <laughs> yeah, saying, it's more like carpeting in a car. <laughs> <laughs> well, carpeting in a car. But this huh. is the wool one, and then uh, is there more? Interesting. Oh, and then this, right? This, mm. like, how would you describe oh. this? I don't know. I describe this as tweed. <laughs> it looks like a tweed in the form of a sweater material, almost. Maybe I'm not sure. Because I have a cardigan that kind of looks like that. But it's mm. like so a cardigan. It's not a jacket. Wool. Yeah, wool, mm. mohair. Um, extremely soft blanket made of... Are we looking at... Yeah, I think so. This one, right? Yeah. Yeah. So I think, yeah, you get the idea. Interesting. Interesting. All right, one, I'll take one more question. We had two hours. All right, from Padma. Amy, would you consider pre-loved for Chanel jacket? Yes, mm, great Amy, question. I'm happy at this point, right? <laughs> Did we, we talk about this last week? I can't remember. Oh, were, we, were we talking behind? <laughs> were we talking about this last week? Uh, was it last week? Probably several I forget. Ago, I all the weeks are getting all mixed I up. Think but Amy yes, once I said that to complete her to. collection, she wanted a Chanel jacket at some point. Right. Was it last week? What was last I week's topic? Was, I, two, three, I don't remember ago, what actually. happened yesterday. <laughs> it was before. It was before I went to Vancouver. It must what have been several last weeks week ago. On the luxury live show. <laughs> so many episodes. It's all merging together, everyone. <laughs> Like, I'm pretty sure it was before I went to Vancouver, so it had to be okay. at least three to four weeks ago. I totally blanked out what happened last <laughs> week on the show. That's okay. This whole year has been a blank with COVID. <laughs> <laughs> but it's also because we have so many topics, and sometimes we have two shows in a week because we have a members one and then we have a public one. <laughs> So it just, after a while, you're just like, oh, which week again? Like, what was the topic again? So, uh, yeah, I'm pretty sure I mentioned it. Yeah, I'm pretty sure that I said that I would love a brand new one, of course. But I will definitely consider a, a pre-love one. Just depends on the jacket. Mm. And if I fall in love with that one, you know. Why not, right? Awesome. Okay, thank you. 2022 everyone. goal. Yeah, 2022. Thank you yeah. to everyone for sharing your 
awesome purchases as well as your worst purchases this year. It's really, it's really interesting to see everybody like going all out because we we are on the channel, like we're on YouTube. Just feels like we're only buying, <laughs> but it's kind of nice. It feels like everybody's buying. Yeah, as well, I have so to many say. people bought so much nice things this year. Yeah, wow. Congratulations. So tomorrow we have um, a live, right? Uh, members only. And uh, that's going to be on Amy's channel. We're going to share a couple of secrets. So look out for that. Uh, the time is 1.30 Singapore time, Hong Kong time. And it's actually 9. 9.30 p.m. Pacific time. Yeah. So we will see you there tomorrow. Yes. Otherwise, have and a great weekend, gonna everyone. Be us too. It's going to be a good one. Yep. <laughs> Bye. 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 <laughs>